Hello, hello. The music's kind of loud for me, but it's like minus 18 decibels in OBS, so I think it works out. I might wait like a, another minute just in case, but I'll probably just open the pack real soon. And it's super rare. $10,000 pack. Alright, so this is the right side of my desk. I have very little room to do anything here, but this is like the most spacious corner of my desk. And this is the, uh, the pack I acquired from a Target for $4.99, I think. Uh, I just saw it and I was like, yeah, I don't think I've ever opened a Yu-Gi-Oh pack, so I wanted to have the experience before I jump in. I think it will enrich me enough to play well. So, hopefully I get every single rare card in one go. Yeah, I screwed that up. layers of paper. Right. This is smaller than a Pokemon pack. I've opened many Pokemon packs in my lifetime. A few dozen at least, but this is definitely smaller. I think a, I think a Pokemon card is about the size of this pack, but this is the size of a Yu-Gi-Oh card. I'll try to be delicate. I don't know if there's like a specific order to these things like Pokemon does. I think it does like one energy card um, at the back and then like two rare cards at the front or something. I don't know. But just go true in order. Already I don't know how to pronounce these. This is... Can I get that closer? I gotta I got warp... I gotta warp the image a little bit. To reveal the name. Just read it on its side. It's... Uh... Cybers... Cybers... The save worm. Uh, I don't know what any of that means, but it's pretty. I guess it looks cool. A lot of these just look like Digimon. Uh, if you told me this was a Digimon, I'd believe you. I don't. I don't see a difference. Oh hell yeah! Pig iron versus pen. Peg. Um, 
Well, he's he's ironing that peg. Uh. It's a it's a spell card, I guess. All right, I think this is this looks rare. I guess it's it's black. In Imperial Princess. Imp Imperial Princess Quinn Carey. Quinn Query. It's a five star, which I know is good. It's strong. Uh, again, it just looks like a Digimon. Alright, I got. Man, what the fuck is with these names? Uh, so I get. Solfalkard? Solfalkard Symphony. Wait, you got, I gotta put this back. This is like the sweet spot. There we go. That's a good. Solfalkard, Solfalkard Symphony. Um, I guess so. I don't know what the hell Solfal, Solfal, Solfacord. That's, that's just a chemical. That's like made up. So this is the, this is the foil, the guaranteed foil. Which is similar. Grand Sulfur Cord. Coolia. I'm assuming that's Coolia. I, got, I, I keep forgetting to keep it back here so you can read the name. I'm not just making these names up. What the hell? Manadium Breakheart. Okay. All of these are imper imperceptible. Even the, like, special cards for, like, Pokemon, like, the effects, they... I don't think they were ever this weird. So this is a whole new world. Alright. Dream... Tower of Princess Nemleria. And it's like a giant layer cake. I guess that's cool. I mean, there is pretty cool art uh, for what it's worth, but it's very weird. So these are all. All of these cards are like perfectly rectangular. So you have the edges kind of like the corners jack like dig into your hands kind of. I feel like that also ruins like the durability of the card. But what do I know? D dual dual avatar. This is Avatar 2. Manifested uh, own. Uh, uh, un? Maybe, maybe it's French? Um... Two dual avatar monsters, it says in the description. This has zero attack and zero defense. Focus. Camera? There we go. So I don't know what I maybe you have to combine two. That's why it's a dual avatar, and then maybe it, it makes like a super creature or something. And then th this is like the only one that's like normal. This is New Frontier. Yeah. That's a uh, pretty tame in comparison. Looks like. Genshin art. Put it back. Okay. Well, neat. I understand less than I did before, but I do have. Well, I did have like. A few Yu-Gi-Oh cards just lying around somewhere. Uh, I always had it with like my giant tub of like Pokemon cards. 
I don't know where I got- I, I'm assuming I got it from like my brother or something, but... I- I don't know what happened to them. They're just gone. Uh, but I will add these to my collection. These 10 cards will start my collection and will probably end them as well. So, nice to have them. Alright, the main event is I'm just gonna try and learn Yu Gi Oh! True, uh, the Master Duel game. Which is, from what I understand, probably the best way to play Yu-Gi-Oh! as like a video game. Um, it seems to be the most thorough. Um, seems to be the one with the least issues. I did try to play a mobile app called Duel Links on my phone like years ago. Um, but I don't know what happened with that. Hang on, I got to change some things around. <sighs> Gotta change my HDMI input. Right now, it's just a still image. I think of the last frame I had previously. Oh, maybe that's why. All right, it says the switch is pretty loud, so I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. Like minus 10 decibels, hopefully is enough. Well, maybe a bit more. Uh, shouldn't be too big of a deal anyways, this is not a very audio heavy game. And I gotta... Sorry, I got so much stuff on my desk. I was using my phone as a webcam, that's why a Droid Cam OBS was on the screen as a watermark and I sponsored by them because I chose to use their app as a webcam and I had to prop up my phone with a snow globe because I don't got one of those fancy uh, pop what were those called like the pop stands or whatever that you can put on your phone you get like an easy stand at any point I'm just doing a lot of the, uh, just manhandling the desk and a lot of items right now.
Oh, I should probably edit the stream info too because I'm not really opening that pack anymore. be timing me out because I'm not doing anything. Uh, edit? Oh, cool, I get a free... Duelist card case blue. I, I can decorate my card case now. That's awesome. Alright. So this is the game, the interface I guess, um, I just started playing today and I went through like the basic tutorial. I also watched like an hour of a educational YouTube content to try and get a grasp. Um, so there is Duel, which is like the standard game mode. You just play other people. There's also the solo stuff, which is like the campaign. Um, you get, you just do like missions and get rewards for it. Um, I will start by doing some dual training, I think. Uh, maybe get a few good rewards, but at the very least just get more accustomed with the game and then I will jump into some real duels. Um, and we'll see how hard it is to not lose. Alright. The opponent will try to tribute summon a level high or a level five or higher monster. Be careful if a monster that summoned last turn remains on the field. On the next turn it will be sent to the graveyard, which is what GUI is. I had to figure that out myself. Uh, and a powerful monster will be summoned in exchange. Okay, um... I will stick with the starter deck that I chose. Which is apparently just like a basic, like... This is probably what like a 12 year old would construct if they were playing Yu-Gi-Oh! in like the 90s or early 2000s. Tribute summons. Oh my god. This method is used for summoning, mon summoning monsters level 5 and above. You must tribute a certain amount of monsters on your side of the field in order to perform this summon. The amount will depend on the level of the monster you want to tribute summon. Uh, sending monsters level 5 and above will also require tribute. Cannot perform a tribute summon if you've already done a normal summon. Okay. So, the basics of the game, I think, are pretty simple. You start with five cards. There's monsters, spells, and uh, traps. I don't have traps right now, but. Uh, right now, I can just play. Well, I guess I can't play either of these, can I? Both, both of these are a tribute. Uh, summons because they are above five stars so i will just need to uh, special summon up to two dragon monsters lord of d must go oh. well i guess i cannot do anything on my turn Okay. Well, that's nice. Ring 
of destruction. Oh my god. Okay, this is a trap card. Uh, and we have to read every card in detail during your opponent's turn. Target one face up monster your opponent controls whose attack is less than or equal to their life points. Um, destroy that face up monster, and if you do take. I take damage equal to its original attack, then inflict damage to your opponent equal to the damage you took, and I can only activate it once per turn. Okay, well, I might as well just set it. So how traps work is you can't really use them right away, because they're traps, you have to wait for your like, opponent to basically trigger them. So once it's my opponent's turn again, I could use this if I want, I don't have to use it. Okay, target one face up. Oh, I guess I could use it on their uh, monster if I wanted to lose faster. And I still don't have any monster cards to tribute, so I will just... Uh, I guess... Not even battle. Just end. Okay. Um. This attack is less than or. I guess I might as well take the. Like, this is. I'm gonna take damage no matter what, so it's better to take a little less and also to deal some damage back. So I will. Get rid of that. Pretty bad already. Give me a monster. I did not get a monster. I just get defense draw, which uh, means I take zero damage in the next uh, battle. The next battle calculation, so I can just uh, use this. Do still take damage for that one. Okay. Fine, I get a Kid Moto Dragon. Um. Yeah, I just had a. I think I had a very bad first scroll of getting two monster cards that are both tribute summons. Kid Moto. I will disperse into it. Okay. It, well, if this card dies, I can special summon a one a dragon card. I guess I might as well. Can I? Set this at least. Yeah, I want to see. That one. Can I use another? For some reason, there's two main phases, um, both of which 
you do most of your normal stuff, like playing cards. Um, I guess if you want to set up stuff after you fight. But I am not gonna... I don't... Confusion summon one fusion monster from my extra deck. Hang on, let me try this. Oh, I can just set it. Sure. I might be able to... Well, actually, never mind. I cannot turn this around. Oh! No, I definitely can't. Alright, well that's embarrassing. Just uh, lost the story mode mission. Hang on, I want to look at my deck. Let's get XP for losing. This is just one of the- there, there's like- they offer you like three decks after, after the uh, main tutorial. And they're supposed to be just like easy starter ones. There's two blue eyes. And two Kaiser gliders. And one- so out of like... There's like three, six, nine. Out of like 21 cards, um, there are five that I could have drawn. Well, I drew two at the same time. So it was like a 25% chance and then a 25% chance, roughly. So I had like a. There's like a 1 in 16 chance of drawing two. Uh, monster cards that are both uh, too strong to immediately summon. So I think normally I should be okay. I'm gonna try again. I think I just got unlucky. Card attacks the vents position. Okay, you might might as well play this. Um, I cannot. Ooh, I cannot declare. It. Okay, that's pretty good. Set that. Um, I don't think there's any downside in keeping cards. You you can only draw one card per turn. So, might as well keep her hand. Candy. Oh, that is the spell. Chain a number card or effect? What? What do I do? Mountain is activated. Hey, okay. So there is a thing called chaining, like chaining spells and traps. But I legitimately have no clue what it does, so... What? Um... I guess it's just after every, like, action or, like, every card effect it asks you. Um, I might as well, because I think they will win if they declare an attack, so... Nice. Dragon Newt. Right. I don't even know. Is that mountain affecting it? All dragon, wind, beast, and funny monsters on the field gain to earn attack defense. Okay. Well, that's nice. I'll also set this because why not? Uh, is Lord of. Lord of D is not on the field. 
I don't remember who Lord of the Year Lord of D is, but Pretty good. Uh, there's nothing to do in main two, so we'll end the phase. Alright, I don't even know what they summoned. Uh, 17... Let me see. Uh... I'll, I'll save that. Well... That's fine. If they attack... Well, actually... Well, I guess they could... They could attack... This, and it would destroy that. If they attack... My Lancer... How it works is if the, uh... Attack... Points on both are the same... Uh, they'll kill each other. If this is higher... Then I'll actually kill it. I, I would just do an attack to it. Um... So, the AI would probably try and attack this. Um, yeah, I probably want to keep that. That chain resolves. I don't know what that means, but cool. Never axe dragon loot. Summon and I will change to attack position. Uh, battle. Yeah, and if you do more attack uh, than the opponent has for their attack, then all of the, like, the remainder carries over to their, the life points. And if there's no monsters on the field, then you just attack their life points directly. Kamori Dragon! Oh no! This is a tribute summon. Yes, I will tribute summon this. There's a lot. Okay, now I can also change this to attack. And then I will go to battle. And then I will win. So it was just luck on the first time around. Did the rabbit just dab? Because I'm gonna remove him if he keeps doing that. Complete. I got one card for doing that. What even was the. Oh, destroy all monsters your opponent controls. Well, that's pretty good. But destroy all monsters your opponent controls. I think that's an ultra rare. Uh, what's the downside to that, please? Okay, I will edit my... Wait. Oh yeah, I can also show. Honestly, the reason I got like interested in Yu-Gi-Oh is the possibility of someday uh, doing this deck with Exodia. Not this specifically, but some variation of it. Um, for those who don't know, Exodia is just like this like god in the Yu-Gi-Oh universe and how it works is there's five parts of him, 
and you get all five in your hand at the same time, uh, you instantly win the match. There's no extra condition. As long as you have these five in your hand, you win. And this deck and many others like it are is just specifically focused on trying to draw all of these cards and put them in your hand. Like I think even the monsters here are like specifically to like try and do more to like get closer to these cards. You're just trying to draw all of your cards basically. Um, and I think it's really funny that like there's this whole specific category of like um, decks like these called FTK which stands for first turn kills where the entire purpose is to just try and immediately win on your first turn and this is one of those decks it, if it's your turn then all you all you're all you're trying to do is go to your hand and get these and then just win and that is hilarious to have in, in like a competitive game a real competitive game and this isn't forbidden none of these cards are banned it would show them if uh, any of these cards were restricted, but you, you can only just have one of these each, which makes sense. Same with these, I guess, because they're powerful. But that is a perfectly valid deck um, that I will, if I keep playing Yu Gi Oh!, that will be my end goal. Like, this will be the end game. Um, but right now, I'll just try and edit, edit this slightly. Yeah. So let me look. Oh god. That is a lot of categories. Um Oh, okay. Right, Geki. You can only have two of these. All right, that makes sense. I was I was wondering because that seems really really powerful, but yeah, okay. Uh, one cannot declare an attack. It's pretty good. I kind of like this one. Silver's cry. Target one dragon normal monster in your graveyard. Make it special summon. Bring bring. Bring a, no uh, a dragon card from the dead, I guess. Discard one card and target one monster in the field. Place that target on the top of the deck. Honestly, I don't feel like that's super necessary. You can sacrifice at least one. deck it's also important to customize your deck according to the strengths and those according to your strengths and those of your opponent um, this opponent decks takes advantage of its high defense you shield, shield crush or raigeki I don't know what shield crush is but I did get raigeki so I will use that okay I guess we can look at that right That's pretty high. That's, that's high defense. Yeah, a lot of them are pretty high defense. Alright.
three different battle positions? Face up attack. Um, face down defense. Oh yeah, okay. How is battle damage calculated? Yeah, if you attack a defending monster, it does... If it has more defense than your attack, then it does the remainder, the difference between defense and attack. It does that much to you instead. Uh, set that. Target dragon monsters in the field with card effects. Um, well, that might go against this one. So I don't know if I want to play that. I will set this. Jar of Greed draws one card. I know Pot of, Pot of Greed draws two cards. Um, now nah, they'll lose. Oh, jeez, they played a lot. What did they... Oh, okay, that's pretty bad. Um, sure. Summon. I think the special summons just mean you can summon even if you already did. So I can use this. Yeah, and now I can do that. And I also. To well, I will keep this in the def defense position just because oh, that's bad. Well, that kind of stinks. Yeah, I don't know why I did that. I was hoping it would have a confirmation confirmation message to let me know, like, for sure, but, uh, yeah, I just can't do that. Oh, 
right. Excuse me. Alright, that's at least useful. Special summon one of these. Okay, I have to select two monsters to use as fuse material. That is fine. Because then I can play this. Luster Dragon. No, I'll just uh, hmm. Wait, once per turn you can special summon one dragon. Oh, that's cool. You can just get a free dragon summon. All right. I will just uh, summon this. I think. This should win. Yeah. And then I win. Is this Digimon? Uh. No, I wish it was. Well, oh. Uh, this is a. Uh, about the same level as Digimon for me. Digimon's better. What's Gab- wait, Gabuma? Is that the main one? It's like, that's the mascot? Here, I, I, I will look it up. Ga Gabumon. I think I've seen that. Wait, why is it on a cross? Like, the fourth image on like Google Images is like, it- it's like crucified. Excuse me? Okay, what? I, I'm trying to save this image so I can put it in OBS and... I just encountered a AVIF file. They're inventing new images. They're inventing new image types just to piss me off. Yeah, I will take a screenshot. He died for our sins. I don't- what do you do? Is he like the Christ figure? Is there a Digimon Jesus? This is really interesting. No, I don't want that. I don't, I don't want Zub Zubaba, Bancho, Gaga, Ga, Coat. Angemon? Holy. Why is it? it? This just looks like. 
This is like a fucking persona enemy. WebP file, I am so mad right now. Why can't we why can't everybody just have PNGs? I'm so I'm so mad. Here. Let me see if I can save the crucifix. It's not there. It's not supported. No. I need to have this up. There we go. There we go. I'm just gonna keep this here. Um, just to like spread a message. Just so people know if they join the stream. Strictly only Yu-Gi-Oh! You can only talk about Yugi and Seto Kaiba and Joey Wheeler. I don't is, I think that's his name. And uh Blue Eyes White Dragon. Yu-Gi-Oh cringe, I gotta be honest. I've never seen a single episode of Yu-Gi-Oh, but I also haven't seen like a single episode of Digimon. I just recognize Digimon more because it's similar to Pokemon, so I can at least understand the concept in, in a way, even if it's a different premise. I know they're like digital monsters, they say it a lot in the theme song, but they're basically the same to me. They, they as a kid, I don't understand the difference between Digimon and Pokemon. They're just both monsters. They're just- they're both Mon. Yu-Gi-Oh? That's some like satanic stuff. Stop stream. Let's watch all Digimon seasons on stream right now. If uh, the purge happens and Twitch removes all DMCA laws, I will do that. I'll just stream Digimon for 24 hours. I'll, I'll go to Kick and I'll stream Digimon after my hundred million dollar deal. Uh... Usually summon one monster per turn. Oh, is it's just using it's just ta it's just telling you to use special summons. I already did that, man. D live. No, not not kick like K I K. Kick like K I C K. The one that XQC's on. Kick K I K. That's yeah. That's a like a, a hazard. The the streaming site I'm talking about is like. Slightly less of a hazard. D-Live is better. I, I've only heard that in passing. Is it just... The same, but... Like, not funded by the casinos? 
Okay, I know what these are. I can I can do one. The white supremacy website? Oh, okay. Well, that's gonna be a little hard because I'm not quite all the way white. But you know, if they ever send an invitation, um, try and like get more people in. You know, the future is bright. I got one guy in my the graveyard. Fusion substitute. One fusion monster. Uh. Some of these descriptions are a little funny. A very beautiful dragon covered with sapphire. Who wrote this? You can. The, the art's right there. They sent an invite, no way. Is this is just gonna give me a virus. Um, yeah, very beautiful dragon, I guess. Uh, it does not like fights, but it's incredibly high attack power. Who's the bozo trying to like characterize the Yu Gi Oh monsters? You don't. You're not supposed to like form bonds with them. This is not, this is not Pokemon or Digimon. This is war. This is battles. I don't care that it doesn't like fights. It has to fight. It. I tell it to fight. It doesn't have free will. It must fight. Okay. Uh, fusion summon one fusion monster from the deck. I still don't know what that means. Uh, do I want to battle? Do I want to risk it? I'm not gonna risk it. Your stream, your rules. All of the recommended streamers have less than 5 views. That makes me feel better. Yo, Axe Dragon Newt? Not Dragon Knight. Dragon Newt? Life is great. Can you, can, back in like the older days of Twitch when they weren't as harsh, you could find like random people like smoking crack on stream. Is that what D-Live basically is now? I, I could imagine that. Um, this card, oh this is a pretty good one. Could. Mm. This is a pretty strong one. I didn't get the hang of it. Uh, it oh yeah. Uh, I guess like sure. Do you have a dragon in the graveyard? It's fucked up that they actually say it's a great like they canonically die if you they like get tribute tributed. Um, face up. Please. Let's go. Okay. What the? Warrior Lady of the Wasteland. Why did she get like emerald on? Alright. Um. Let's use the very beautiful dragon against the lady. Uh, this should do some damage. Fuck. Fuck you. Marauding captain? Man, the art is a little all over the place. I guess that's to be expected when you've got like 20 years of legacy.
I hope any- I hope no audio was playing from D-Life just now. If, if there was like a random voice coming through that was D-Life. Oh, that was not me. I was not paying attention. I, I think it should be fun. Alright. What was I doing? I was playing a game. It was serious. The, the Yu-Gi-Oh! show is definitely more unhinged than this, I feel. Because they're, they're doing all sorts of stuff outside of the battles themselves. Um, like, getting in like gunfights and like... Well, not gunfights, like... There's like an infamous scene in the original show where like... Some like, feds try to like shoot the billionaire. Uh, Seto Kaiba, and then in the 4 kids version, they just like edited all of the guns out and they're like pointing fingers at them instead. And there's just a bunch of weird cuts because they're like trying to work around the guns. Um, and that's hilarious. Alright, might as well set this up. Do I want Axe Dragonu or Lance Dragonu? Dust discards destroyed and sent to the graveyard. Did I? I just heard fireworks. It's July 5th. Bro, you had two, like two whole days where it's like socially acceptable. Get You gotta get over it. Alright. I don't know what that does. I will summon. Axe Dragon Meat. Um. Oh, I can't attack. Oh, I thought you could just attack anything. I guess it's good to just get them out of the way. The game- okay. This is on the Switch just cause like, it's easier for me to stream on the Switch. Cause it's better performance wise, but uh... I don't know why there's just random stutter sometimes, cause this is just a single player mode. Okay, I can attack. Wait. Now I can attack that, alright. Get this guy out of here. to read some cards as they appear in like two seconds you have to like immediately try and like guess what they do oh, oh. turn your points turn oh uh it's fine okay give me some good Lord of D must be on the field. I don't have the Lord of D. Black attack. I'm just playing with the emotes. Sword Master. That's scary. That's terrifying. Alright, I'm just gonna summon this. Franker Z. We got Franker Z in the chat. I don't know um, if you need 
I know for like official Twitch emotes, you need to be like a certain level of like partner or whatever before you can actually add your own or whatever. Maybe. Um, but I know there's like 7 TV and like the. 7? Is it 7 TV? Maybe? And uh, BT TV and like Frinkerface C. All, all those like Twitch extensions, they have like custom emotes that you don't need. Um, like extra permissions for. <laughs> Didn't work. Didn't work that time. Um... Oh my god, what is... Okay. I'm just, I just attacked. Oh, we'll try to attack. There we go. This is Elden Ring. No, this is uh, Dark Souls 2. I'm playing the uh, only good one. This game is... The, the basis of this game is very simple. You just hit like other monsters and you do damage. It is just a video game. I can't imagine trying to like do this in a tournament and like with real cards um, trying to like keep track of the numbers and stuff like all of the effects as they appear this is definitely better as a video game for me alright I think I might win on this next turn yeah. Um, yeah, I should. Uh, it's as easy as that. Just don't mind me, just flex on the single player AI. I'm gonna put that up in my room in Tears of the Kingdom. I got Marmoting Captain. This game sucks. This is Hearthstone? You know, it does kind of rem I, Maybe it's just like the way the cards move, but it does remind me of Hearthstone from what I've seen. I have not played Hearthstone, I think. I think I may- maybe I tried to, but they, they got practice here. All card games are Hearthstone. Just- Inscription? Maybe. I mean, Inscription is like three different card games, though. Spoilers. Uh, if you haven't played it. But. It's a. Uh, I guess they're all Hearthstone. They're all, they're all different, but they're all Hearthstone. Yeah, Inscription is actually true. Summit. Okay. This is like the ranged part of Yu-Gi-Oh that I don't get. There's like four different extra like these are all just different summons. Alright, I'm not gonna do those, I think. There there's this. Uh, I'm gonna try an actual match. I'm definitely gonna get bodied, but I wanna actually try it. I wanna see just what it's like. Like I'm predicting it's gonna be like unhinged. Trying to go up against a real person. Oh, there's casual match and standard. I will. I I think it's funnier if it's a standard match. Season 19 has begun. Have you seen the 1998 Blade movie? No, but I know about it. I've uh. I've seen like. There's a Blade video game, and I saw clips of that, and I know a few scenes from the movie. I know if it's like cultural impact. Um, I know like, yeah, he's just like a vampire hunter, and he like kills cops in the movie, and it's like, it looks cool, in a way. Definitely cheesy, but 
I should watch at some point. Okay, I do not want to do starting that. That would be a bad idea. Oh, were you here for ex uh, the Exodia? Finished the first one as batch insane. That's great. I'm glad you got to watch a good Marvel movie uh, instead of the the four Dark World, Dark four Delta Rune or whatever. Yeah, were you here when I explained Exodia? I don't think so. No. Okay. So, this is like basically why I wanted to try Yu-Gi-Oh out. Because this, the existence, of, the existence of this deck is like so funny to me. It's, if you're familiar with Exodia, you might be, it's, it was a meme. All you're trying to do with this deck is get these five cards in your hand at the same time, and then you just win. You can read this, it, it just says, if you have the right leg, left leg, right arm, and left arm, you win. You just win, it's instantly... There's no extra conditions, you just win. So the entire point of this deck is like as soon as it's your turn, yeah, all you're trying to do is just get like all of these spell cards, it's all just to like get all of the cards in your hand. Even like the blue eyes white dragon, this like monsters, it, they're, they're just like trying to be like sacrificed to get to here. I've seen it played. And in, in like an ideal situation, you just instantly win in like three minutes. And it's hilarious that the game allows this. Like none of these cards are banned. This deck is not banned. You can play this right now. And that is so funny. And it's like such like a true, like, that's how you feel like, that's how to make your player feel like an anime protagonist is like, yeah, I just, spend like five minutes on my turn and then i just win i don't have i don't even have to do anything else of course the drawback is if you don't do it on like your first turn is like you immediately lose basically because there's nothing else but still it's hilarious i definitely that, that is like if i keep playing this game it, it, that's definitely the end game that's like the end goal okay, all right uh, select this deck, because it's all I have, basically. Alright, one more duel until tier 1, nice. Alright. Hopefully people- yeah, there we go, people play this one. Rabbit versus, uh, Tome, I don't know what the hell- what the hell they have. Oh, I can go first or second, I will go... Yeah, I'm gonna go second. I'm gonna I'm gonna give them j just to let them uh, have slight advantage. You know, they'll need it. Oh my god, they they have that decked out. That's like I don't know how many how many gems or whatever that costs. All right, I want to see what they do. Right, there's a 300 second timer, so you, you get 5 minutes. That bunny reminds me of the Digimon. It's a pretty simple Digimon. I guess I could see it. Samurai Skull. This card is no- you send one zombie monster from your deck to the graveyard. Huh. This is... oh my god. I think this is their special summons, or like their... No, this is their extra deck. Yeah, you have... I don't even know what the extra deck does. I think it's just... there's... it's just for like special cards or something, I don't know. What is there? Uh, I guess they're still deciding? I can't get it. I, mean, I can 
get all the info. Zero defense on that one. Oh. Red Eye Zombie Dragon. I think they just sent something to the graveyard. Or something. Eight thousand YouTube Let's Plays. No, that's eight thousand uh LPs. They're a really prolific pro prolific uh, musician. Vampire's Desire. Why is that? That art looks really modern. That's like Castlevania art. But yeah, that's just life points. Um, I don't know why it's 8,000. It's just... We just picked a number from like Target. Or not Target, but uh, Dartboard. That was... Oh, that was your turn. Okay. That didn't seem too bad. Lord of D, let's go! Um, well, actually, I don't know if I wanna. Let's do, let's do a Luster Dragon. And I would put Ring of Destruction on here. Control a Dragon. Uh. I can't do that yet. Oh nice. I could do this one, sure. Well actually no, I'll save that. I'll save that until I get a good card. Let's do battle. I might as well attack. Don't, don't see a downside. Uh no. Save it. Do it. Oh! Bam. What happened? When a monster declares an attack, you can special summon this card. Oh. Um. Uh, no, still no. Oh, damn. They just got a free summon from me attacking. Oh, no. Cancel. Uh. Yes. Oh, now I can choose. Well, obviously this one. <laughs> Man, it really, really wants to like check. It's like, you sure? Um, do it? Is there another trap I've fallen into? Time is just pop well, what? What? What happened? What? If your zombie monster battles an opponent's monster, during that damage calculation, you can pay LP, you can pay life points in multiples of 100, and you're back. Oh, they like expended their life points to add attack to the monster. Okay, that was, that's a lot. All right. Well, listen, I have to hire life points, so I must be winning. Even, even if I'm in a horrible position, must be good. This must be good for the economy. Ooh, what? Ring of this. Uh. Man, I don't. They're playing like a zombie deck. Target up to two. Square to come level two. No. I don't want to. Oh, 
now you can see a history. What? Red Eye Zombie Necro Dragon. Um. Okay, this be really funny. I I I say no. Oh, you don't you don't have that card anymore. That was probably worth it. Alright, well, they added they got the advantage. Flute of Summoning Dragon. Oh. Do I have any I have this track here? Um Oh, perfect. this then I can summon this and attack yep um now gain 700 attack close now. Okay, it's main two and it's end. I, I might stand a chance. I don't know. This this person definitely has more experience than me, but I might be able to at least... I mean, the fact that I got their life points down to like half, it's like at least good. I still don't know what they have planned, but... Well, summon. Oh, this is a, wait. This is a zombie now. Oh, they're all zombies now. Neither player can tribute summon monsters. Except so summon exec except zombie monsters. Oh. Okay. Well, I don't know what they did, but oh, they get to. Oh, okay. That's pretty strong. Uh, no way in hell I'm getting that out of there normally. Well, that sucks. Um, yeah, I guess I should change the defense position, right?
that a good idea? Sure. I don't think it matters, but... Get out of there. Oh, alright. This, yeah, this might be over pretty soon. They're gaining power. Destroy all monsters? Oh, they they use the one I had. Well, at least I know it's a good card. But yeah, they're okay. Damn. Well, at least it lasted a few turns. That's pretty good. Alright. Uh, oh, this is the season pass thing. This is just like if you do dailies in a row. Grade 1 to 2. Do even- I don't even know if you need to do this, like, daily. I think it's just you just gotta keep doing it. Alright. And now, tier 1. Get three more gems. Level up. Well, sure I'll save that duel. Memento of my- it's only one more duel to bronze tier 5, huh? Pretty generous. Okay. Uh, claim- oh my god. I got 10 mission rewards. These are just like miscellaneous tasks to like get you to do stuff. Just receive all. Trap card, spell card. Special summon, normal summon, duel, increased duelist level, legacy pack ticket, what does that mean? Nice. I don't know what the CP currency is, if it even is a currency, I assume it is. The gems are just like stuff you can spend in the store. I can- I guess I could check. Open a whole new world. Alright, this. Do you know the cards that wrote the history of the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game? No? So yeah, there's quite a few things. Protectors. It seems like it's pretty easy to earn gems. And nothing's too expensive, which is nice. Doesn't seem very predatory, honestly. Deck slots. Nice. Uh, I will... Cause I, I got a ticket for one of these, I guess? Yeah. Limited list. Cards included in this pack. Oh, that's a lot. There's a lot of cards in that pack. Yes. Oh, it's always oh, just like. Okay, I didn't open it like that. I don't think you can do that normally. 
You only get two cards? There's like 10 in a normal one. Chain material. Okay. Reverse Buster. This guy can only attack face down defense position monsters. Discard attacks, your opponent cannot activate any spell or trap cards until the end of the damage step. Discard attack face down. Discard it face down. Ooh. Okay. Neat. I don't know if I'll use those, but sure. Alright, I want to try opening some of our packs too. Because I think these are just the normal ones. Like, that like include all of them. Okay. And I think I heard the way you do it is always open like 10 at a time or something. So, sure. Let's see if I get anything good. Anything close to fulfilling my Exodia deck. Oh, these have. Well, these have eight. Okay. Blue Eyes Shining Dragon. Ooh. Cool. Well, oh, they're really trying to, like, sell you on it. Oh, wait, whoa. Last hope by destiny. That looks like some fucking League of Legends art or some shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Perform a pal, you go golem. Okay. That's so cool. Oh my god, that's. A bit excessive in design. Alright, what's this? Ultra rare? I also got a key with it. Alright. Sub Terror Behemoth Fiendus. I don't even know. It's, it's a link card, so I don't know what it means. Swordsman of Revealing Light. Oh, nice. I was about to sneeze, but it didn't come. I got fake sneezed. Goki! Oh, I was. I thought that said Goku, but. Gagaku Punk Crash Beat. I'm always looking for that uh, Gagaku Punk Crash Beat on my Spotify playlist. Silva. Greater Polymerization. I do recognize polymerization. I know that's like a common card in a lot of decks, but I don't know what it does. Alright, five more. Luna Light Fusion. I got another. I don't know what the keys are. I don't know if there's like CSGO cases I, I also can open. Psychroid. The most lovable and friendly of all the via croids. There's this is a a species? This is there's more of these? Can arm itself with training wheels. This this is much more like a Pokemon description than like you know all of, like this one. Here's some one Lunar Light Vision monster from your deck using monsters from your hand or field. 
Yo, there's a another bicycle. Or I guess it's like a motorcycle. Hyper Psychic Riser. Lord Emperor Weisel. Code generator. We got a lot of those nowadays. I heard like this guy. Saw him last match. Shamson Samsara Sorrow Cat. Cool. A lot of these look cool, but it is a little overwhelming. Got to my fuel cell. Flex cell? Fuel cell. Yubel. Sacred Sword of Seven Stars. And from one level seven, seven monster from the hand after this upfield. Well, that's cool. Um, I don't think a single card of those uh, is gonna build, is gonna help me build my agility pack. New card pack? What? Okay, well I have I don't know what the keys are for, but yeah, I want to check. Zodia. Yeah, not I did not get any more cards towards my goal of this. There are quite a few rare cards in here. Yeah, oh, most of them are definitely rare, so I guess that makes sense. Got some rewards for finding secret packs, okay. Or just like fully pre-made pre-made de decks or I 
think so. Yeah, they're like, you're meant to play in this format. I don't know if any of these have uh, any cards I would want to get me towards my goal. with that. Alright, I'm gonna open another 10 packs just for funsies to see if I can get anything cool. Alright, skip all of them. Maybe it's- maybe the cards are just Maybe the keys just represent like, oh, you discover new secret decks. I'm assuming that's what it is. Chaos Ruler. Chaotic Magical Dragon. Area Arena. First Movement Solo. There's just a composition here. Mirror Force. Oh, that's a pretty good one. That, that's actually worth having. Stealth dragons. Oh, that's cool. I like that guy. These are these are these are like some weird. They look like tree renders. I can't tell if they actually are. They look like it. Two of these in a row. EMR. A lot of machines. That I'm never saying. King Dark. King Dark. Decoy Roid. While this card is face up on your side of the field, your opponent cannot select a face up monster as an attack target except Decoy Roid. So, this is just you just send out this monster to die. They, they know instantly they're gonna die. That's pretty messed up. Ghost, ghost trick, yo. No, I'm, I'm a little mad. I played ghost trick er earlier in the year because uh, that would have been great to stream. Um, not gonna play it now, even with the remastered version, because played it too soon. But great game. Some special ones. Got a whole city. Showdown of the secret sense scroll techniques. Okay. That uh, font is really struggling to stay in the card. Alright, that's all of them. I don't think there's anything useful in there. Not for the Exodia deck. I got another mission. I got another reward. Here. I'm finding another secret path. What are the secret path? Secret paths. Hmm. 
my guess is these are like the original like maybe not original but like they're they're like categories of like you know you got the magicians and like fairies and fire fighters or whatever it has to be good. A dual life, whatever. I uh, I don't know what that is. I maybe it's just like spectating like current duels, maybe like competitive duels. Um, I will do a few more solo things. So I saw it in a video that I should do this mission specifically because this is a really good card. Uh, add one level four or lower warriors. Um, that's just a free monster added to your hand. That's pretty good. Um, many monsters with low attack. Defense that can help you in duels with their special effects. You can draw a nuclear instead of returning a card to your deck. Maybe I should use the starting deck? Would it be in there? Or do I have to add it myself? I think I, think I have to add it myself. Um. I can edit this instead. Oh, I think actually I think I know what the CP is at the top. I think that's crafting points or something. I think you can choose to like craft cards in a specific category. Um, oh god. I gotta go all the way down. Oh, actually, wait. Um, A R. At a wait. No. No, I goddamn. I just want to read this card. Why is there an at? At Igniter? Why is there a fucking username, like a Twitter username in here? No, 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 no. See what I got rid of in the first place. Oh, I didn't. No, I didn't get rid of anything. I just added that when I didn't want to. As normal summon, you can shuffle one card from your hand into the deck, then draw another card. Then you can special summon if it's a model. 
Okay, that's not too bad. I will get rid of another at the square one. Here. Actually, I'll get rid of another King Builder Dragon for whatever I choose. Yeah, the game is just stutter sometimes. I don't know if it's because it's like always online, maybe. effects not only can you activate and use effects like mystic holder but there are also effects that you can use continuously as long as the monster is unpeeled all right No, that's not what I wanted. Shit. I wanted to use this. I thought I selected it, but... Dark Hex Seal Fusion.
why I didn't catch what they were. Not why you could do that, but that happens. Don't worry, there's nothing to do. Is destroyed on the field since they're just turned. You can special summon this card. And this is the effect of the duel. I, oh, I keep. I thought it was battle phase so I could attack. Just to be really excessive. I really don't need this, but... Just, just to really rub it in. This card, which is really good. I think I added to the deck. 40 to 60 cards. No matter how strong a card is, it won't play an active role if it remains dormant. Oh! Oh, I thought the max was 40. Okay. I can just keep adding cards then. Okay. I won't add a ton of cards. As a kid, I always thought it was good to have more cards, but playing card games taught me that it's definitely not true. Only one. Okay, now I gotta go. Useful mirror force. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, 
Um, hold on, hold on. Fiend fusion effect. Oh, that's nice. You should look at that for the Exodia deck. Oh, it's okay. It's a special one. Let's see. That, that's probably still worth having. specific uses, I'm guessing. Like, you have to have a very specific type of monster for it to ever be useful, or even like activate in the first place. Monster Reborn. Okay, that's pretty good. Discard one card, then target one card in the field, and destroy it. Oh, that's also pretty good. Yeah. And a couple of things. That's not too bad, I only added like five cards that shouldn't be, shouldn't completely destroy the balance of the deck. This one's pretty good. Set this. Also that. I have no monsters to summon yet. But luckily I think I can there's like two different ways to destroy this right now. Completed by the uh, um, I will wait for most uh, possible damage. Yeah, there we go. Obliterate. Wait, I do. What did Ian want to So they used their trap. Okay. 
Okay. I could destroy this. Um, yeah, sure. Start a card. This one. This one. I, okay. I might know what the train is now. I think what it is is that this game is cursed, and so it has to like you have to create this like diagram of like cascading spell effects, and you have to resolve them in reverse order of when they are played. So the most recent one that was activated or played is the one you have to deal with. Okay. That makes sense. I just had no idea why Chain was randomly popping up. Okay, still no monsters. There's just a goddamn spaceship in there. Victory Fiper XX03. Huh? I thought there were supposed to be monsters. Just, that's just a machine. It's just a vehicle. the activation of a spell card, trap card, or effect monster. So... Oh, you, do, you just negate anything that would destroy a monster. And then you also destroy a card. Okay. That's pretty good. Counter trap, that makes sense. Okay. Oh, now it explains chains. Yeah. How was that? 
What? Trap hole. Okay, I guess you can add it to the field thing you planned. I will add a destruction jammer or two. of the cards that you can chain will be displayed whenever it's possible for you to chain a card. You can choose whether or not you want to chain. Okay. So you can specifically target effects and be like, no, I have something like that here. Someone this way next turn. Um, I think I should have set this over here. Jar of Greed. I still want this. I think this will be actually more powerful if I do it correctly. this special summon. be used as a tribute for a tribute summon unless it's for a dark monster. Okay. So you're not attacking?
No. Just meant to like be like shields. They don't. That's why they have zero attack, zero damage, zero defense. I mean, okay. Right, what are these? Draw two cards. Do you draw two cards and skip your next two draw phases? Oh. I can't send that either. Damn. Okay, I still got this done. Nice. Actually, that's almost enough to win. Oh no, what the fuck? I think you just add it to like the it's like a cosmetic thing. I got sand gun. Nice. Whoever great travails in the demon world. The underworld. Wait, the demon world and the underworld underworld are two different things. That is a unique take. Those are these, but I'll do this some other time. Those are just boring tutorials. Get this.
Oh, it's, oh wow, that's a lot of tutorials. These are all just practice things. Almost two and a half hours. Let me claim my rewards. I will do like one more regular duel. I think. Oh, it does put you with similarly ranked people. That does make sense. So you don't get absolutely destroyed. symbol over oh no does that mean like it's spotty I'm guessing oh I see I think they disconnected. Yeah, that's an easy win. Yeah, they surrendered, quote unquote. Damn, this game is easy. Oh, I got the. Oh, nice. I don't know why my grade went up so high, but all right, I'll take it. Seeing white tiger. That's just a very boring monster card. Okay. Cool. 
save that dude. Um, I will do another. I think the condition was one more win across the board. Oh. They also got the starter running. They even got the starter avatar. Nice. I do wonder if they're probably also going to have a pretty simple deck. It might be mine. Or similar to mine. Let's see. Oh. Oh, this is the... This isn't even one of the decks we choose. This is a... The very beginner. Like, this is the one you have in the... Tutorials. I'm pretty sure. I Because I saw it in the tutorial. Wait, what? You have no attack. What do you? Cancel. What? Why did you? Okay. Yeah, that's not how it works. You lose. Okay. Well, I guess. I learnt a little bit better than this person. That's it. Oh, uh... What do the mates on the side even do? They don't even like, give you any useful info. They're just hanging around, moral support. They don't. They don't have any advice. What What is the point of playing this in attack position then? It works as a shield, but 
Bro. You can't. You just saw. What did you think would happen? It already. You already did the same thing last turn. You just put your hand on the boiling stove yet again. The boiling hot water. Alright. Not gonna do this. Well, I don't really need to, but. Alright, well. Kind of deserve that loss. Pretty fast. It's not like that many. Oh. Oh. Want more of those tickets? That's pretty good. Um, I will open some of those legacy packs and then hope that'll be it, I think. Five packs, five tickets. Sword Warrior Copycat. That's, that's a simple one at least. Rapid Fire Magician. Oh, that's, that's pretty good. For an effect. Fiend's Hand. That's a very not so good monster. This guy's Who's key? The mouse fighter? They're really alternating between like simple Pokemon descriptions like be careful not to touch him or you will get burned and it's like as long as this card remains face up in the field this all spirit monsters are made face up on the field and do not return to it. It's like it's a, it's a, it's a lot to take in but I did have fun, honestly, with most of the um, games, even there, even if they were really simple. I could see even the normal game being decently fun. Um, yeah. Check the rewards. Here. That's gonna be it. I'm tired of dueling in the in the easy leagues. Um, I'll, I'll probably play a bit more of this off stream. I don't know if I would revisit this on stream. Um, I feel like the I don't know. It's pretty chill, but like. If you're just playing duels, like ranked competitive duels, not like competitive, but like ranked, I feel like you need some level of focus to like just pay attention to what's happening. So I don't know if I want to do this as like a chill stream compared to something like Zelda, it would be easier. But um, this was still good. I'll 
probably play more I'm using my free time if I if I actually make progress towards Exodia I will document that somehow and if I actually get the full Exodia deck then I will definitely restream this and play that for like three hours straight um, but yeah that's gonna be it thanks for everybody who tuned in thanks uh shout outs sailor harp 711 thank you to 711 for sponsoring the stream thank you to droid labs uh app for sponsoring the card opening segment uh all right